So, uh, it looks like you're dealing with somebody new, a stranger coming into your life, somebody you haven't met before. And uh, you've got, um, you know, maybe it's a new friend because you've been spending a lot of time by yourself recently. Maybe you've been getting back to nature, but you've been finding yourself. So you've been spending a lot of time by yourself and you've got a lot of self-doubt going on as well. So maybe this person helps you get over that self-doubt, but you're definitely meeting somebody, making a new friend of sorts. And, you know, you do have all these doubts about how things are going to turn out or maybe self-doubt about about how you are going to react in these changes. So you have got the jealousy card over here, and it's followed by the change card. So you've got a, been dealing with a lot of people that are very jealous of you. People pretending to be friends, and they are not friends, and saying things behind your back, really nasty things behind your back, and you didn't even know about it. So a big change coming in for you. Things are shifting where has just come in for you. And maybe that's caused a lot of, uh, you know, a bit of chaos in your life. So you need to keep your channels of communication open. You need to network a lot and maybe you'll be dealing with a lot of information, sending out a lot of information or receiving a lot of information soon. And uh, I say information because you've got the, the wisdom book uh, card over here. Maybe you'll be going into learning or communicating all your ideas with people uh, from around the world. So, um, you know, there's um, dealing with a lot of information over here and a lot of communication. So you might be dealing with IT, some kind of work that involves uh, giving out information and it's coming from you and you seem to be some sort of expert in the field and you're communicating those ideas out. Okay, so the main energies of the card is the judgment card. It looks like you've changed directions in life or you're planning to change directions in life and move on to something different, something new, something you haven't done before. Um, you've been caught to do this, you've been caught to change whatever you've been doing. So maybe whatever you're doing is not satisfactory to you anymore. It's not giving you that joy and you're feeling a bit trapped in it. These people are emerging from the coffins. So they are, maybe whatever you were doing has kept you in the dark for so long and it's not caused any growth in your life and now you're planning to make this big change uh, in your life, uh, do something completely different. So this seems to be the energy, uh, an energy of transformation and change. And rather big changes as well. So you've got the Two of Pentacles and is crossed by the Star card. So you've been juggling finances quite a bit. Uh, maybe you've been working two jobs. Maybe you've had a lot of money problems as well. And, you know, maybe also you've got a new job in mind. So there's two job options over here. And that's going to help you get along your life path. You see this person is walking down this path. So maybe you're changing from one life path to another. So you might be changing jobs completely and these options are coming to you. You've got a choice to make over here and you've been guided to make this choice by the star card. So this brings in two major arcana cards. This is uh, the path that you should be on, especially if the major arcana cards come and it seems like you've been guided. You can see also see this woman's pouring out two streams of water. So there are two options coming to you. Both of them will produce a lot of abundance, a lot of growth um, and um, it's just picking which one, you know, it looks like maybe one might be earning better than the other. You might earn better with one. And it depends on what you're looking for within this job. But you are definitely being guided uh, and, you you know, you need to look at the situation with a lot of optimism and it's going to get you back in the direction that you should be going. So it is guiding you towards the path uh, or your pathway in life. Um, and it's getting you back on that road, uh, you know, that you, the journey that you came on, it's getting you back on your journey. So a big change coming in for you, but a lot of guidance and a lot of help coming in. So also listen to people's advice because that's how you get ideas about whether you're not, uh, whether or not you're doing the right thing. So you've got the Three of Cups. You might have been meeting a lot of people in the last year, a lot of socializing going on, uh, making new friends, maybe a lot of networking going on. Uh, and you've had a lot of freedom. You might have been traveling quite a bit as well. You can see these birds taking off over here. So you might have been doing some international traveling, meeting a lot of people, networking a lot. And maybe this is why you have decided that you need to have this change in life. Uh, because, you know, you met different people and different opinions. Um, you know, you've seen different things. So now maybe you've had a, a, a bit of a revelation coming in. The judgment card also talks about that revelation. So you've got the hermit where you've been spending a lot of time by yourself and, you know, trying to find yourself. Um, you can see this person uh, is walking alone with the lantern and the stick. So you've been relying a lot on yourself to get things done, uh, but walking a little bit of a solitary uh, path in this last three months, spending a lot of time by yourself. And also maybe you could be studying as well with this uh, Hermit card, because it is the card that is ruled by Virgo and it is talking about studying and working alone. 
Um, then you've got the Fool card. So you want something brand new to come in. So you want a shift of this energy to come in and you want to move away from all the crisis that you've been in. Uh, even if it's a difficult road, you don't really care. It seems like you want to make that big change in your life. So you yourself are bringing in this big change. You want it to change. You're waiting for some sort of information to come in with this High Priestess card. Um, you know, you can see this cherub is whispering something. So you're waiting for news of something before you make this decision to do this change. Um, the High Priestess also says, keep your ideas and secrets to yourself. Don't go around spilling uh, the beans about what's going on in your life. If you're going to make that change, you need to look within yourself. It's a card about going in within yourself to make the decision and not really relying on other people for information or um, to persuade you. Um, and, uh, you know, she's a very... Um, She's a person who is the keeper of the knowledge of the wisdom. So, you know, you are an expert at whatever you do. Uh, and, you know, maybe people are asking you for advice. Uh, but you are waiting for some sort of information to come in before you make that big choice that you're going to make. Uh, it looks like you might be going off into a new job. You've got the Knight of Pentacles over here. So whatever work you're doing, you're working very, very hard. But it looks like you're making a choice about moving on as far as your work goes. Um, into something different. The Knight of Pentacles, slow moving knight, working very, very hard, but also moving into the future. So uh, it looks like you are moving away from this whole situation and your work is taking you out of the situation. So there looks like there's some sort of legalities, some sort of legal decision. Uh, there might be some um, something involved where you need to consult a lawyer or you'll be signing documentation as well. So there is something legal coming in, a choice coming in over here. So you might be going in for signing in the new contract. Make sure you, you're reading all the prints, uh, the fine print and, uh, you know, keeping everything above board. It looks like, you know, um, with this um, King of Swords, um, you know, they examine everything uh, pertaining to what you've done. So there's somebody that's doing some sort of in-depth uh, research about you, uh, and so uh, a decision will be made. There'll be some sort of judgment that comes out of that King of Swords. Um, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, so you do want to start something new where you learn something different uh, and you become an expert or you become an expert in that particular field. So maybe you're going down a new field, a new pathway, and you want to become an expert at it and learn on the job and learn these new skills. So going into the future, you've got uh, the Nine of Cups, uh, the Eight of Wands and the King of Wands. So the Eight of uh, Nine of Cups uh, is showing that you are communicating with a lot of people, meeting a lot of people on an international basis. And this is getting you over any kind of depression or problems that you have. The Nine of Cups is also a wish fulfillment card. So by meeting these people, they are bringing your uh, dreams. They are helping you manifest your dreams. So whatever jobs you want, whatever money you want, meeting and communicating with these people is the thing that is bringing in um uh, your visions, bringing in your dreams, manifesting for you. And there's a lot of information coming. So it seems like you are working with a lot of information and communication over here. Things are going to be moving very, very quickly. And maybe now you're going to be on the international stage rather than just being local. So meeting a lot of people, communicating with a lot of people, and you can see uh, a lot of information going on and it's going to be very productive for you. And you will be dealing with somebody who is the king of wands. So uh, you are be going to be dealing with very people in great authority and great influence. That seems to be the card that is coming in. So, uh, you know, uh, a lot of maybe celebrity status people. Uh, and these are the people that you're going to, you know, they're in charge of a lot of people. So they might be owners of companies or, you know, very rich, wealthy people. And these are the people that you're going to be dealing with soon. And this is because of all this communication that is going on. You need to show your leadership skills and you need to be act with a lot of confidence as well, because that is what they will respect or this energy respects that, um, you know, you show your confidence and do not have any self-doubts. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the... Um, so the first card is the Two of Air. That's a choice card. Uh, being unable or unwilling to make a decision. A stalemate, pretending like there is no problem. So you are at a point where you are trying to make a decision over here. And you can see there's even a decision that you need to make about a job. Uh, situation. Um, this could be a decision about signing contracts, which one to sign. So you are a, a little bit at a stalemate right over there. Uh, you're waiting for some kind of information to come in. And you've got the King of Fire, which says, um, focus, 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 communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from somebody uh, assertive or creative. So you've got the King of Wands twice over here. So you are going to be meeting this person who is a very, very powerful person. You need to show that you are very committed. You need to communicate very clearly and show that you have a lot of self-confidence when dealing with this person. 
And the last card is the five of water. Things not turning out the way you um, hoped. Not seeing the positive in the situation. Crying of a spilled mug. So you've got to let go of that past situation. Whatever you came out of, you've got to move away from. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've got to see, be positive. So uh, a lot of, um, you know, whatever negative energy that you have going for you, uh, you've got to put it aside and move forward. Uh, and be very, very assertive and be very, very positive. And start seeing the cups that are upright, not the cups that have fallen. So you've got to see, you know, not the disappointments, but what you can actually make, how you can make lemonade out of lemons. And that's the way you've got to look at life. Um, so, um, you know, and that's how you're going to be able to move away and make this big change that you want to uh, to make. So a big transition happening for you, a lot of change in energy, shift in energy, and it seems to be taking you from a very localized space to a very, very international space, and uh, that might be well the case. Uh, so act with confidence, be bold, communicate very clearly, and you are going to be meeting a lot of people that's going to take you out of any kind of depression and despondency. You will recover from it.